Hi everyone, I'm Scott from Curt Hydraulics. Today we're going to take a look at the Curt KH60 crimper. I'm going to walk you through how to properly make a hose and fitting assembly. First, let's set up the KH60 and prepare to make our first assembly. Be sure to remove the shipping plug and replace it with the reservoir cap when the crimper is first unboxed. It's important to select the proper hose. Match the hose pressure rating and size shown on the side of the hose. Look for the hose in the crimp instructions and find a compatible coupling series. When you've selected the correct coupling series, check the threads before crimping. Measure the entire length of the hose assembly from end to end. Determine the hose cutoff length by subtracting the cutoff factor for each coupling from the overall length of the assembly. Cut the hose square to the correct length with a hose cutting saw. Clean the hose to be sure there is no debris inside. Mark the insertion depth on the hose using the coupling as your guide. Insert the coupling onto the hose be sure to have full insertion to the depth mark. Check the Curt crimper specifications for proper die set. Make sure the die set and the crimper cone are properly lubricated. Use the anti-seize provided with the crimper. The die set should be aligned with the die holder seams facing forward. The die should not be overlapping. Insert the hose and coupling into the die set as shown. Position the coupling to the proper depth according to Curt guidelines. With the hose and coupling ready, place the pusher donut on top of the die set with the clearance slot faced forward to the operator. Be sure the top rings of the die are evenly contained inside the bottom of the pusher donut. Select the proper micrometer setting from the Curt Hydraulics crimp specifications and twist the top of the micrometer until the number appears on the micrometer barrel. Depress and hold the foot switch. Ram pusher will engage the pusher donut until the micrometer foot contacts the limit switch. Release the foot switch once the pump shuts off. Using the caliper, Measure the finished crimp outside diameter to be sure it's within the crimp specifications. Refer to the crimp spec chart for tolerances. Contact your Curt distributor today to learn more about Curt Hydraulic products or visit us at curthydraulics.com to see our complete product range.